Hello YouTube, my name is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome to part 11 of the Duchy of Croatia campaign. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. It's actually uh, night time with me right now as of me recording this episode. It is the 11th of April and it's half past 10 in the night. So I'm going to quickly record this video now before I go to bed. Um, like I said in a couple of the episodes so far, I'm recording this series well in advance of me actually releasing the episodes. That way I've got a nice backlog of videos to fall back upon. That means I can get on with multiple series at once. So more content for you guys and a lot more videos for me to make. But hey, it's good. So anyway, um, we defeated the rebels where, uh, with this army. We got peace with the Avars. They have three settlements now to my five. I got Savaria, Mossberg, and I also got the three in Croatia itself as well. So I'm quite happy with how things are going. We are going to have a rebellion probably though next turn. Mossberg will have a chapel in two turns. Plus I've got my priest um, spreading his Christianity around here as well. So I'm hopefully we can get some stuff going, try and build up some money for a few turns. It's not going to be an awful lot of action going on apart from the fights with the rebels at the moment. I will be taking on Nitra and says get eventually but i'm going to wait until i'm actually in a position where i can crush them first so anyway let's end the turn correct the end of turn phase from the previous uh, episode i hope you're all well um let me know in the comment section what's been your best moment of this series so far i mean it's been most episodes are very similar as far as me going back and forth but the last couple have really changed things so far this is the strongest position we've been in so far in the series Took us a bit of a false start. I think part of that was me not playing Total War for a very long time. And speaking of bad situations, we have a rebel force currently attacking uh, Mossberg. We're not going to win that, are we? So let's. Uh... Oh. This is a siege battle. Let's going to find out first if it's a siege. It is. Okay, we're going to fight this because if I can get the AI to be a bit derpy here, maybe I can get the siege towers to actually do my bidding for me. I've only got three units though, so and they're a garrison army, so they're going to be very weak. If I had one or two full units out of the three, I'd be very... I would be convinced I could do this, but obviously I don't think I've got the troop numbers to do that. With two spears and bows themselves, it's going to be quite tricky, I think. But we'll see how it goes now. Nice way to start off with a nice little battle. I think got it though, because I'm, I'm going to be losing Mossberg straight away. But this is the rebellion, so I can just come straight down south and retake it and squash the rebellion straight away. If I can inflict some wounds on them, I will. What settlement have we got? Probably not the best of settlements. Okay, they're coming from that direction, all four of them. We've got a tower in a nice position here. I think I can march straight up here though. Don't like this settlement at all. Oh, with that being said, there's the capture point. I could put that there. Are they stupid enough to go that way? Probably are. Start battle. I'm going to have the barricade there because they got to go past two towers. That's the natural path it'd have to take. Gonna put these men in line there. We'll just keep the one there for now. We are outnumbered. But this is where I'm hoping that these towers can inflict damage. You can see they're starting to fire. They're actually missing with some of these shots. I was hoping for a bit more accuracy. But three towers on the way. I'm hoping they can whittle them down. But as things currently stand, I don't think they've lost a single man yet. Which is an absolute pain. In the backside for me. They're going to be in the range of this tower soon. As well as they have two towers shooting that one. This is, yeah, this is kind of annoying. Oh, they've lost one, but that's, that's just not quick enough. The nearer they get, though, the more 
casualties we can start inflicting. What would be nice would be if the general was to somehow die. The general's actually stopped there. It'd be pity if they couldn't just keep firing upon them. I was hoping that we'd have more accuracy though. Two kills. And you know, this one's taken ten. This one's taken heavier losses, which is good. We'll take any advantage we can take. Yeah, so you see if it's right by them, they're going to lose loads. The nearer they get, the more casualties they take. They're only now getting to the tower. But it's not quick enough for my liking. It is not quick enough at all. And these bow infantry in general have not taken matches either. This year it's going to go straight for the tower here. Let them take the towers. Can't do anything about that really. Spears, sure. Yeah. Keep you here because they got to walk up this way to go sort of towards the gate. There's actually a path straight up here though. But if they walk up that path, they're going to be in the firing line of my light skirmishers. And they got to come around then to here. Look at these people who are just wandering about, casually going about their business. As you were, as you were, we're under attack right now, but we're all just going to wander around like fucking idiots. Bunch of bloody idiots, aren't they? Okay, they're almost taking that tower now, but the good news is, though, they have lost, well, about 30, just over 30 men in the meantime, but they're going to take that tower now, so it's not going to be the best. The generals lost five. I'm surprised they stayed here. I was hoping they'd bug out or something, you see. That was kind of why I manually that's why I'm manually playing this battle, even though it's the odds are heavily against me. Doing it this way means they'll lose more. They've destroyed the tower, but they've actually taken casualties in the process. This one see this one's lost ninety down to ninety two. They lost a hell of a lot of men, these levy spears have. And they've just lost the tower. So it's a small advantage. We haven't lost anybody yet, and they've lost over a hundred, about hundred and fifty odd. So I mean, it's, you take any advantage you can, and they just wavered slightly, then shaken. Killing the general it would be the ideal thing, but uh, can't really say much about that at the moment. This tower is obviously in a position where they can fire in that range. So it's uh, in the range of that currently, and they, these ones that walk through will be in the range of. These troops up here might even go for that tower, and if this one does, it's going to take a, another big portion of its troops away again. Now you're going to start firing. And yeah, got the cover of the wall as well, and it can't fire back anyway because it's an infantry unit. So this is good, and it's also wavering again. Of course, we've only got 30 men here, so 30 men are not going to be good. If it was a full unit, it'd be much better. It'd be about 120 or so. 160, rather, I think it is. But they're taking losses, 67. By the time they get to here, it's going to be a lot less. Two units in there. 63, 60. So we we'll hopefully can drop these like a sack of spud straight away. Problem is, we've got 112 coming now. Yeah, I haven't gone for that tower though, which is weird. And these two are just camping, you see? These two are just camping by there. For some odd reason. So if I can take out this one quickly, which I have. Okay, perfect. Get back. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Six 
exactly the same thing again. I haven't got ammo left, that's the only problem I've got. Uh, right at one. That's successful so far. It's a pity it's not tower. Oh, actually, there is. It's not tower in range? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? I'm assuming it is. Okay, fire. Javelins can shoot from here. I gotta hope that 29 and 21 can hold back 110. Which is very unlikely. But with the levy skirmishers also firing and also this tower, which I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's firing as well. Might have a chance. I feel like if that tower could have got more kills on the other troop, this one by here, we might have had a chance. I can't see us winning this, but we've given it a good go. We have weakened them significantly for the next battle. To the point where we've wiped out the levy spears. If they run that way, they're going to get decimated again by the tower, so. That's good news. In melee, combat is even. I'm now losing my spears. I've still got a hundred left, you see. I have to chuck these in now. The levy skirmishers. All I can do is chuck them in. It's going to be the death of me, the levy spears, unfortunately. Let's just fast forward. I can't do anything else, tactically wise. I can no other move. Oh, we have got them wavering though. Lovely. Pull back again. They rallied again. 78 against 24. Charge. Combat even apparently. This is a very weird battle. This is a very weird battle, folks. The things I do to save my population 22, 29, 68, 67, wavering again, 66. Go on. Oh, don't kill my general. If my general dies, I've, I've gone. But they're going to win this. Yeah, they're both starting to go. It's just a battle of morale now, basically. Yeah, they won. Admirable, though. I inflicted 263 losses on them. The only reason I lost was because I had so few men there. That's what I'm saying at the start of the battle. If I had more troops or more men in my units, I could have won that. It's only a close defeat, though. Rebellion, faction destroyed. Uh, that was the rebellion in Moravia. Which is totally fine. I got money to spend, so we should probably try to do stuff in Savaria now. So if we build up the chapel there. And what can I build up now, which is going to help me out? Food is important. A garrison would be important. A muster hall. Surface might get squalor, but get industry. Growth and a trade import port would be useful. A hostel and get assassins and spies. I also get public order. Thinking we'll go for that. And then you are going to go to Mosseburg. Because those the rebels are going to be wiped out now. So an auto resolve. Aggressively deal with them. Sword through the head. Happy days. Quite enjoyed that battle, even though I lost it. I always like if I'm gonna lose, it's nice to kind of go out like that. Oh look at this, gonna get another rebellion next turn. I just hate the fact that rebellions are so frequent. Public order, Gavin Province, that's good. Battle movement speed, campaign map movement. I'd like to get that. That's useful. And then the army, the will of dragon. Replenishment. And morale when laying siege. I'll go melee attack as well. 
Try and make them slightly stronger. I lost... Uh, I've got my other army here now. The Warriors of Dragon. Uh, power goes good here now. So you can go to Kaposfa. If I get you up here... Oh, then again, Kaposfa doesn't have to be attacked yet, does it? Okay, if I deploy you here... I want to try, try and get Christianity up. Yep, it's 41% now. That religious bill is going to help tremendously as well. Warriors of Dragon. Gotta go that way, haven't we? You haven't got much movement points either. If I pop you there and put you into Fortify then. That way you can replenish. Can't get any troops with you though. Public order is good all round. It's balanced. It's on the app, that's important. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. So I got Okay, if mine's 42, what the hell's happening to make it change like that? Rebellion next turn again. I can't bloody be arsed these rebellions. Just can't be bothered from them. Let's check out diplomacy as well. Just in case. Yeah, the Avars don't like me, but it's now improving. The Lombards are deteriorating, they don't like me. Why don't they like me? That's weird. Bavaria, how about you give me some money? Just for the sake of it. <laughs> they did. I like the fact you can just screw the AI, I guess. Venice, give me 300, please. Okay, Venice won't. Sicily, give me 300 dosh. Give me the good stuff. Okay, I got 300 out of them anyway. I mean, that's another unit, like. I can just get another unit out of that. Or another two units, I guess, if you go for the levy archers. Um, I can afford anything. We need more infantry with you. I think we've found that swordsmen are actually a lot better. Getting more kills with swordsmen, so I'll get one more swordsman in your little unit here. Got good missile superiority, so a few more infantry to match that. Could we got two, four, if I got five there, two more to make it 12. I'd be happy enough for that then to go for Kaposva. End turn. Oh, don't know what that was then, deceased. I'm getting these weird meshes keep glitching through. I don't know whether it's because it's a mod or whether it's just something that needs to be patched. It's kind of strange though. Kingdom of the Longbards. Duchy of Spoleto. Spoleto, I think it's pronounced. I can't, I'm not quite sure to be honest with you. Rebellion, Moravia. So yeah, I just squashed one rebellion and now I've got to squash another rebellion. Well done, game. Well done, game. Okay, so look at this. Mossberg's now happy. Because the amount of rebels that are left. This is where it gets really weird. Okay, so keep your eye on this now, right? It's minus it's minus 80, but it's plus 20, okay? Public order. And you can see rebels left 43 green. So I get my army. I crush them. Chase them down. It's an author resolve again, guys. Be aggressive. Could we outnumber them by a lot? Once you've got a big army, this is the sort of thing you can do. Just quickly auto resolve these battles. Because I'm pretty sure you guys get sick of all these rebellions all the time. I'm getting sick of them. And I can obviously get money, but it's no point going to get the replenishment rate. Okay, so this is my theory now. There was minus 24. Pop you back in Mosseburg. Okay, so I've, I've quelled it just about enough. So it's got, I've got two turns. I've got one turn until I get the public order bonuses, plus two, plus three. Plus I'm going to be getting public order in adjacent provinces for the uh, Christianity. Plus... Oh, where's he gone? Where's my agent gone? Okay, let me check the events. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, you bastard. You've assassinated... I think they've assassinated my agent, I think. Oh no, he's out just out of commission for now. He's there somewhere. I was gonna say that's gonna be so annoying. Uh public order wise though, you know. Christianity's on the way up. Tangrism is the most popular, but that's going down, so a few more turns I think would be okay there. Speaking of turns though, I wanna get you moved. You're in Fortify currently, but you're in a normal stance. Uh let's keep you just inside our borders for now. 
thing is, I can't really upkeep two armies. Um, I like the swords, so we're going to get another sword one for you. We have got one spear. Probably have to balance out with some more spears. We get one more spear, so I have three swords, two spears, and the rest can be like that. So we'll have a half stack, and we have more or less a full stack with you then. And this army's got a little bit of experience now as well. Not too much, but it's a start at least. I mean, I could leave Mosseburg and go there with you, and I could probably put you into forced and go go up there, but I don't see the point. Public order's getting really good now in CSAC. So we're at, um, I think we'll do one more end turn. So we've had one battle, we've gone through a few turns, we're stabilising right now. Just to make sure that things are moving swiftly. I don't trust the Avars though. I want their lands. Once the Avars are taken, that's when the campaign will start taking off properly. Okay, ready for duty. I like a priest who's ready for duty. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's actually in Savaria. Pop out there now because of the public order. Oh, look at that. Because he's there now, I've balanced the public order for the first time in my two new provinces. And obviously, having the chapel and the hostel of help with that. Good timing on building them, no doubt. Ah, oh, you bastards! Ah. I took too long. I wanted to take Kaposfar for myself and those fuckers got it before me. I wanted to nick that as well just to sort of, you know, fuck them up there. It's okay though, it's not an issue. We need to consolidate Mosseburg and Savaria for now. Make sure we're doing well with them. Technology-wise, we've got that, so cabin map movement's up now. We can get raid income, probably don't need that yet. Recruitment capacity, we've got by one. That's useful. And I get Imperium points, which is also useful. Lumber, archives, wealth from cultural buildings. I'm going to get the wealth because we need income right now. Income is the most important thing. And then public order. I wonder if I can get money out of them again. I love it when they give me money. Demand 300. No. Bavaria, give me 300. As a gift. No. And then Sicily. I want 300 spondulies. No. They're unlikely to. They are unlikely to, to be fair. Deteriorate with these two as well. So gotta be careful of Bavaria and Venice. Why is that? Because of my past treat with the Avars. It's only minus one, though, so it's not much. Just be wary of them, though. And I think that'll be a good place to end this episode, guys. Um, so, overall, pretty pleased. We've retaken Mosseburg after the rebellion. We've now quelled. Moravia, so Mosseburg and Savaria. We shouldn't have any rebellions here now, providing the Avars don't fuck us up and we don't have anything drastic to change. I need to try and get that Christianity going around here. At the moment, it's looking pretty good. Uh, it's on the up, which is good. And then, if I can try and upgrade some of these settlements, because at the moment, this is a. You know, growth. There's no growth. Province and region is minus eight, and then I've got buildings three and food one. I need to start getting growth going in this region. Once we get some growth in here, I can start building up stuff. I can got money. Once I get money available, I can actually build up these as well. Try and get something in here. And I'm thinking probably go for a guardhouse. Because it's public order. And it's also provincial security against agents. And also a garrison at Mosseburg, which is obviously going to be in between Kavosvar. Okay, but that'll be something to do in the next episode. I have been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.